Hi, I'm Charlotte Blair and I'm with ANSYS. I'm a lead application engineer with the Electronic Business Unit and I support the high frequency products. Today I'm going to show you uh, the new ANSYS AWR integration link that we are going to uh, preview in IMS 2016. The first link was announced back at IMS 2014. So this integration unites the ANSYS HFSS, the industry gold standard high frequency system uh, simulator with the Na National Instruments AWR microwave office. So let me show you how this works. This is the microwave office um, modeler window here and here we have a sample model and we have a differential pair that is on some RF board and the signals are being launched to a mimic chip that goes through a via goes through a wire bond and it's in a QFN package so this is the model we're going that was created and designed within microwave office and now if I go under the folder that's called EM Structures, I can take a look at it and I can look at the options and I could see that this is going to be simulated in HFSS, the 3D finite element method um, solver. If I look up in the structure tool here, I could see I have the board, I have the, ga um, the gas chip, and I have the package. So in the board, if I look under enclosures, I can see that under EM mapping layer, I have copper, I have some board material, and if I look at the board material, it's made of some substrate. If I look at the material definition, it's some material with epsilon r equals 4.25. Now if I look at the, um, the chip itself, I can see under EM mapping layers again that I have some mimic trace, I have a die, I have bond pads, and again the materials here are, we could see we have gold here, we have silver epoxy, and we have gas, and the same here for the package itself. So under the package we have solder, we have the package encapsulant, we have uh, uh, more copper, and the package encapsulant again. So these are all set up within microwave office. I can go to the, um, the options again, uh, right mouse click under the HFSS uh, uh, module here, and I could hit simulate and that'll automatically simulate in HFSS. I can also open up the um, model directly in the native editor. And when I do this, this will automatically launch HFSS. As you can see here, I'm using the HFSS, um, the current release, which is 2016.1, and, and this does uh, use the AWR um, license as well, and it's a, this is a beta copy, and it's 12.0.4. So you do need both licenses on your local machine. So once I launch the uh, module within HFSS, you can see I have the same layout here, and if I look under the uh, analysis here, you could see the analysis is set up for HFSS. I could see under um, the layers tool, the layers view here. This, by the way, this is the HFSS 3D layout viewer. So this may be unfamiliar to some of you who have used HFSS in the past. This is our solver that is focused for the um, for board layout. And just like we saw in Microwave Office, we have different um, materials here. We have the package encapsulant again. We have the gold. We have the gas. We have the copper. We have the package encapsulant, the solder. So we it's all automatically set up through the EM socket. So we've got the the circuit and design in Microwave Office. Um, the materials are transferred over to HFSS. Um, the frequencies are set up within HFSS as well, as well as the ports. So all this was in Microwave Office and automatically transfers over to the HFSS EM simulator. And as well as the simulation is uh, um, launched. And as you can see from here, we can get uh, standard S parameter results as well. Now there's one other thing we can do here within HFSS. If you go under the HFSS sweep, you can also go here and say, oh, let me just export this HFSS 3D layout to an HFSS model. Once I do that, 
then this exports the 3D layout, the planar layout, into a, uh, uh, into a full 3D layout. So once we exported the uh, HFSS 3D layout model into HFSS proper, now you're more familiar with the uh, full HFSS screen where you have the solids and the materials. So all this again is exported out into a, the full HFSS model. And now we can have full access to HFSS. Here we can do like we usually do. We can draw um, components in here. We could draw a line in here. I can actually add a coordinate system. So you have full um, access to the HFSS model. Let me just put in a coordinate system. And we can now, for a full 3D, we can add a coaxial uh, connector. So under the um, draw toolbar, we have a 3D component library, and we have a surface mount device, and we could put in a, uh, a, a differential uh, connector onto the board. And when I do this, it automatically comes in and places the connector on the board here. Again, you could see all the materials come in, all the um, ports as well comes in through the 3D component screen. We have all of the uh, material that is set up in here. And with and again, this comes all, so we started this layout within Microwave uh, Office. We added the um, materials, we added the ports, we set up the frequencies, we hit simulate, we can open it up in the um, native editor. We can export from the 3D layout view and we can open it up in the uh, HFSS proper. And then we can add 3D components in here. So in this view here, we could see we have as well results as parameters as well the, as the animation of the uh, surface current. So what just in conclusion, what we did here today was our design started in Microwave Office, simulated in with the HFSS uh, uh, 3D modeler tool, and now the only thing we have to do, we added a 3D connector, and so now all we have to do is actually go out and fabricate the part and uh, compare the measured uh, device with the simulated part, and we've come full circle from design, simulation, and manufacturing. If you would like more information, please um, look at our website, uh, the ANSYS website, which is www.ansys.com, or the National Instruments AWR uh, website, which is www.awrcorp.com. Thank you.